and welcome to another exciting review. And it is it is pretty exciting. And today we're going to have a look at a white box, and that's it. Hope this was useful, and I'm glad you... No, wait. Um, I do think this is an interesting review, and it's an interesting pen to look at for sure. It came in a white box, but as you know, white boxes are not very useful, so in there is this, all right? The uh, Mont Blanc Meisterstück Ultra Black, and it has been pointed out to me that Mont Blanc is annoying, so maybe I should say Mont Blanc. I can also do that. Um, having said that, the Mont Blanc Meisterstück, we know it, it's been around for a long time, but this is the Ultra Black version, and along with that came a little accompanying ink. I didn't get that along with it, but I mean, it's, it, it is, the pen series is paired with a special ink. Uh, it's a Mont Blanc ink, and of course it's, it's black. I mean, it's, it's very, uh, very black. Now, having said that, this pen was very, a, uh, well, very, how should I put that, very, uh, amazingly sent to me by La Couronne du Comte to be given away and that means you can win this pen. I'll give it away and a random winner will be drawn. But not right now. Aziza and I will do serious nibbage on it and then we'll give it away. Okay. Now, onto the pen. This is the, uh, the 144. And let's have a look at it. So, what do you get? You get the box. Ultra black, of course. They went for a black theme. Um, you get a very serious service guide. That's a pretty serious book in, in all kinds of uh, languages, filling instructions, etc. Then you have the box. The box is black. I think this is a, a pretty standard Mont Blanc box. And then, uh, of course, you can put the pen in this uh, soft little slot. And here's the actual pen. All right, I'm going to cover the past the pen. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. This pen is meant to be a bit of a throwback to the original Mont Blancs, which had ebonite bodies. Uh, the material is not ebonite, but it's made to look and feel a bit like ebonite. Look-wise, I think they succeeded. It's a matte black. Feel-wise, not so much. Ebonite has a unique feeling. If you've ever held an ebonite pen, you know it's very smooth. It's, it's a very interesting uh, sensation. I don't think this pen has it. but. Look-wise, it does look interesting, and you definitely see the, trying to hold it up to the light, and you definitely see the contrast between the matte barrel and cap and the ruthenium shiny black uh, highlights, trims on the pen. Okay, let's look at the parts. Here is the white star that we have come to know and love. Yes, I know it's the peaks of the Mont Blanc. I like to say white star because people say white star. I know it's the peak. I know it's Mont Blanc. I know all of that. So now that you're all sitting comfortably, let's begin. Okay, then we have the clip. Uh, the clip is the, the typical Mont Blanc clip. Uh, I'm just checking to see if there's a serial number. Yes, there's a serial number on the back, which I'm going to show. There is the clip that's really pretty tight but let's see if it works works very well keeps the pen in place then we have a center band also ruthenium so very nice it looks really cool I think uh, and it says a Meisterstück Mont Blanc and that's it go on to the barrel and then we have more ruthenium and this happens to be a medium nib and Mont Blanc always stickers that because they don't label the nibs. So there is no indication of nib grade on the nib, which can be highly confusing if you, confusing if you buy a pre-owned pen. Cap screws off. Here we have the, uh, the nib, also ruthenium plated, looks very nice. It is gold, but it is ruthenium plated. Uh, and it has, uh, well, the, the section you can see is just uh, tapers down, flares out a little bit. It's a pretty standard uh, section, I would say. The nib has a couple of things on it. Four, uh, so 4810, uh, it has the Mont Blanc logo, it has AU585, um, so I mean there is, and there is Mont Blanc on there, so it's quite a bit of detail on there. And as I said, this is a medium nib. Okay, then we have a cartridge converter because the 144 Classique model is a uh, cartridge converter filled pen. It's not a piston filler. 
and the uh, the converter that's supplied uh, does have uh, use Mont Blanc in ink only on there. Now that's the everlasting debate. Is that really necessary? Do you only need? Can you only use the uh, Mont Blanc inks? Can you only use Parker inks and Parker pens? Of course, every company claims that you can only use that ink because that ink has been optimized for the pens. I would put some question marks besides that. I, I don't really see how you would optimize an ink for a pen. A pen is a pen, a feed is a feed, a nib is a nib. So I, I don't really see that happening. But um, if you want to be absolutely sure, only use Montblanc ink in this pen. I wouldn't. I would put in anything, but that's just me. So there you have it. The Classique model is one of the smaller models. It's also a model that, um, even though it's small, it's 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 not a pocket pen. I mean, it, even if you have larger hands, it's it's comfortable to use unposted. If you want, though, you can use it posted. In that regard, I think it's a it's a very nice size. Uh, section seems to be some type of precious resin. Uh, it's it's um, it can get a little slippery, uh, in in my experience. Okay. Nib writes fine, no issues. I mean, writes. I didn't experience any skips with it or anything. So writes well, uh, as you you would expect if you if you purchase an expensive pen. What do I like about it? What do I not like about it? I like the looks. I'm holding it up. Of course, I'm wearing something black because it's an ultra black review. But I'm I'm trying to hold it up to a, a white wall. Um, I think it works. It works. Mont Blancs are black anyway, but the black with the ruthenium trim works well. Also, the matte black works very well. Usually, the Meisterstück pens, the black ones at least, uh, because they also come in burgundy, at least in some pen models, um, they're shiny black. This matte black, I think, really works. Uh, also, the contrast with the matte black and the shiny ruthenium, that works very well. I mean, you can see it as I, as I rotate it in the air, it, it's, it catches the light very well. And that, that reflection is, is quite attractive, I think. Pen writes. Pen writes well. Uh, gold nib. Nice. Uh, can get some, some line variation out of it. Um, so there isn't really anything wrong with that. Uh, as Mont Blancs go, I think most people, when they think of a Mont Blanc, they think of some type of piston filler. And of course the classic is not, and it, 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 it it's just it's just not. Whether you buy the ultra black or you buy the regular version, it's it's not a piston filler cartridge converter filled. Is that really a big deal? Well, that's an interesting discussion. I like piston fillers because they have a nice ink capacity. You shouldn't overestimate that. The Mont Blanc 149 is a large pen, and I measured 1.2 milliliters of ink, and you know standard converter 0.8 milliliters so it's not like you will suddenly have four milliliters even in a 149 which is a pretty wide girthy pen so does it really matter to me it matters to the extent that the cartridge converter is easy it's easy to clean you can take out the converter you can just squirt in some uh, water with say a syringe or something uh, that does facilitate cleaning but when I buy a very expensive pen, then I like it when it's a piston filler because it's a, the whole pen is a self-contained unit. And it's, I think it's kind of classy and classic. It's kind of what I expect, especially for a Mont Blanc. Now, the 144 model does not have that. As I said, it, it just doesn't. Uh, and that's pretty much all there's to it. 585 euros for this. And that's, uh, that's quite a lot of money. Uh, 585 is on the nib as well, not because of the price, but because of the gold content. Uh, but even so, it's a lot of money for a cartridge converter filled pen, so no fancy piston mechanism. Not to say that a piston would, would be that much more expensive to make, but it just adds to the, the feeling of the pen. You, you have bought a very special heirloom, you have bought something that you dip in an ink bottle and you draw up ink. You do the same thing with a converter, but it's not the same. To me, you have to disassemble it to fill it to me it just doesn't feel the same having said that i think it's a nice package uh, it's it's um it works i was afraid that the 144 would be too small for me because i like larger pens but i actually like the size it's comfortable it's a comfortable pen to use it writes well and of course that is what's most important that's what you buy a pen for and it works so there you have it i again thank 
La Couronne de Comte for their amazingly generous donation of this pen. It will be given away, so keep an eye out for the Serious Nibbage episode of this pen if you're interested in winning it. Um, I will do a writing sample, that's coming up next. Measurements as well as high resolution pictures of the pen will be on the website, sbrebrown.com. And that's all there's to it. Hope this was useful so far. Lord Windermere agrees, and I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with the Mont Blanc Ultra Black Medium Nib. That's uh, the uh, 144, of course. And the ink is also Ultra Black, the Mont Blanc ink. Writing is smooth. Bit of fast writing. No skipping, nothing. Wetness. That's not bad at all. Line variation. As you can see, you can definitely get some out there. Reverse writing. Possible. Definitely scratchier. As you can see, the pen dust and uh, will ri run dry, so it's maybe one or two words, uh, but you do get a much finer line if you enjoy such a thing. All right, thanks again to La Couronne du Comte. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks also for the amazing generosity of allowing me to give this pen away. I think that would be very popular. Watch the Serious Nibbage episode where Aziza and I cover this, and then you can win it. Okay, hope that was useful. And uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.